The impossible has happened. Charles Barkley appears to have cured his yips and fixed his golf swing, showing us all in the famous words of Kevin Garnett that truly Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Charles Barkley has shocked the sports world, going from what was maybe the worst possible case of the yips to an actually pretty respectable golf swing. And there actually is a fair amount of scientific study about the yips, and that's what I'm going to teach you all in this video. As always, if you enjoy learning about this unique side of sports, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit that thumbs up button if you learned something here, and let's get started. If we start back at one of the most classic examples of his previous bad swing, I want you to pay attention to all the extra movement that we see in his legs. Here as he comes down, all that shaking that you see in his legs is part of what we're going to talk about with the science of the yips. Here's another example as he swings. You can see all that extra little bit of movement that he has, particularly in that right leg here as he gets ready to swing. Now if we look at his recent swing, there's no extra movement there in his legs. Everything seems to be nice and smooth. There's no excessive movements. It's a nice flowing movement. Yips by definition are a motor phenomenon with involuntary movements that classically affect golfers. When we scientifically look at yips, there seem to be two main ends of the spectrum with a lot of variety in between. On one side we have dystonia, which can also be called type 1 yips, and on the other side we have choking, type 2. A dystonia is more of a true neurologic problem, whereas choking is more psychologic. And what we know seems to overlap a lot of this and fluctuate along this whole spectrum is the role of performance anxiety. A dystonia is a neurologic disorder that results in abnormal movements and posturing of a part of the body. But we suspect it's more related to the actual structure and substance of the neurologic system rather than something like choking, which seems to be more psychologic. When we look at Barkley's old golf swing, there was a lot of abnormal movements. There was the stopping, there was the hesitancy, the freezing in the backswing. But then when Ernie L's six putts on the first hole of the Masters, there's no abnormal movements. We would consider this more choking, but both of these could be considered the yips. So it exists along this spectrum, and what we do know is that the role of performance anxiety and high pressure situations certainly does influence both of these types of cases. Within dystonia, one of the subtypes is task specific. A classic example of a task specific dystonia is writer's cramp, where you can move the muscles of your hand and arm just fine, but then when you go to do the specific task of writing, you get those abnormal movement patterns where the muscles fire in ways they shouldn't. When Barkley warms up, he can swing a golf club without those abnormal movements, and he can also do it when he swings with just one arm. But when you look at that specific task of stepping up to the golf ball and hitting it, something changes in those movement pathways that causes them to be abnormal and resort to that herky-jerky motion. The nervous system has to fire the muscles to cause somebody to stop in their backswing like this, or to move their legs to shake like this. Certainly, as Charles has said, there's a mental component of this that certainly makes it worse, but to me, this is more the nervous system firing to control this case of the yips. One of the theories neurologists have for what's going on in the brain involves a set of structures called the basal ganglia. This is a number of different structures deeper within the brain that in particular control our fine movement, our muscle coordination, our motor function. Part of these basal ganglia structures are implicated in Parkinson's disease, which is of course characterized by abnormal movements. This isn't 100% proven, but we seem to think there's overlaps between this motor coordination pathway and what we see exhibited when certain people have the yips. This isn't some degenerative, horrible condition, but in the case of musicians, writers cramps, golfers like Charles Barkley, can be pretty darn debilitating. Studies have even looked at golfers who claim to have the yips and recorded the muscle activity of their forearm whenever they're putting. They found that golfers who have the yips have increased muscle activity, again playing into this role of more of a kind of dystonia, abnormal motor coordination phenomenon that could be contributing to the yips. But again, remember, it's all thought to be on this spectrum, and no one person is exactly like everybody else. There's different treatment strategies depending on where people tend to fall along this spectrum, but a lot of times making simple adjustments or changes sort of tricks your brain into developing a new motor pattern to get out of that abnormal one. People will alternate their hand position when they're putting, they'll change something about their swing mechanics, they'll alter something in enough of a way to try to basically get their brain out of this abnormal pathway, and it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of that is what Barkley did. It is truly impressive that Barkley has been able to stick with golf and all the humiliation, all of the jokes, long enough to actually correct this. So the key takeaways I want you to have is the yips are a general description for an involuntary motor phenomenon that can be characterized somewhere along this spectrum between type 1, which is thought to be more of a true neurologic dystonia or movement abnormality, all the way to type 2, which is just pure choking, a psychological etiology. 
That's it for the video, everybody. I hope you learned something here. Let me know, as always, any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.